and we're good. Are we live? Are we yeah. live? Yeah. Are we live? Oh, nice. So, hello. We are running two minutes late, um, but we will make up for that. There's good content today. So, welcome to Average Super Play Enjoyers, episode nine. Is it today? Yep. And you can uh, read the title yourself. Um, it's kind of a strange one. The all of okay. the unknown intelligent recognized species. Yeah, yeah whatever one. that means. Nice imagination. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, we're joined by um, Per today, the man behind everything and the reason why this even is streaming at the moment and this whole thing exists. So thanks again for setting everything up, Pearl. Yeah. And our guest today is a familiar face, Ansel. And Hello, we need him today because um, actually he has submitted um the first replay the first user submission we are going to watch today and he didn't submit a replay of his own which i, I first I thought and which was i think the reason behind this all um but it's it's a third party submission and should be fine as well so we're going to enjoy this one first i think so yeah welcome all in chat hello dudes magic and dude here i think you already have a good idea of what's going on here <laughs> yeah oh without further ado I will reveal the first game. It is Trizeal Remix by the player Tabi Taco, done on February 12, 2011. It is a one piece side all clear that scores pretty high. So let me set up the video capture. Oh no, that's the wrong video. Uh, I think you also got the player name wrong because it's BSDSC. I thought it was, was the other one. That's the one plasma. Oh said. no. Oh no, Pl plasma. Plasma, what are you done? <laughs> what? <laughs> what, what, yeah, what, what is it? Yeah, it's VSTSC. Uh, this is for the 360 version of the game. This is a pretty old score, as you can see. The game was released around 2009, if I recall correctly. So, yeah. All right, this is pretty old score. Anyway, uh, that's... Can, you, can you stream it on Discord as well? Because I can't see Oh, yeah, I'm just setting up the uh, capture. Okay, okay. Oh, yeah, was... All right. Okay. Yeah, that should be good. It's 40 oh, as well. Perfect. Give me Beautiful. one more quick second. I'm just going to make it uh, more centered on the stream. All the delay today, man. Yeah. Man, come I, on. I really hope it's not my internet. All right, good enough. Okay, uh, I will then also change that to VSTZZ. I thought it was the same player, but... Plasma, you tricked me. You led me yeah, down the possible. wrong path. Is it a different one? You theory pink switch the user. BSTZ. No, 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 no. It is Tabi Taco. Oh, BSTZ. you people. Oh, oh okay. Now I, I gotta put it that. back. Yeah, you have to put it back. It's, it's Tabi Taco. Okay, okay. I mean, he usually goes by the name like STZ Tabi Taco or something like that, but we know him under Tabi Taco. So if you're following, for example, the Rolling Gunner, um, Pro oh, progress at the moment, so that's him. Uh, usually goes under this name. Oh, that's pretty amazing. So the Rolling Gunner also plays the extremely based game. Nice. All right. Yeah, and a couple of others. Um, he's also holding a world record in Crimson Clover, so he's enjoying all the new releases as well. All, all right, right. So I don't know about that. Also, but, yeah. I will. I would like to promote here my channel, Radian Average Replays which is going to be the channel where I'm going to upload mostly 360 replays, also console replays for the PS4, Switch, everything I currently have, basically. Uh, my setup is I'm going to capture like a couple of seconds of the replays and then just set up the first one, basically. So as you can see here, the scores are pretty high, but the one that we're going to see is the highest of them all. Yep. So without further ado, let's start the replay. All let's right. go. So... First things first, this is One Piece side, and as you can see here, there is a title screen from the replay. That's because when you hold B and C buttons at the same time when you press start, you will unveil something that's literally called the Q ratio. So the game allows you to get a pretty hefty score bump when you kill every single enemy. So you need a hundred percent. And to activate how much enemies have you killed and everything, you just press B and C, as you can see on the power up. So the game is full of secrets. Now the dude is like changing weapons and everything. It's not randomized. It's because when you press the B button 12 times at the end of the one of the third parts of the stage, you will unveil a new FO, which gives you 10k points. What the fuck, dude? 
We're already <laughs> yeah. off to good shit. I like it. Yeah. Yeah. So, that's amazing. Yeah. So most of the time, when you are changing faces, you press the button and plays three times, like one to three, one to three, one to three, and then you change to the weapon you're using. So SDS or Tabitako press the button 24 times. So there's two UFOs, but it's Aww. still the same record. It's still the same, but two UFOs. So as you can see here, the game also has metal in, which Pearl hates. <laughs> these metals <laughs> um, are weird, dude. Yeah, yeah these metals yeah. are weird. They are essentially more like mostly rising metals and everything. They are like 10 points first and then a uh, thousand at the end. So you want to keep the 1,000 one as much as possible. So he's a speed killing the enemies to get as many of them as possible. And here we have the actual first difference for the 360 version. So those blue bullets are actually from a game called Exil, which is a sequel. On the Dreamcast version, they were a little bit smaller and orange. But it's just a little small difference alongside a couple of the enemies moving quietly different. Really, really quietly different. It's not really a matter. And here comes the other thing. This is a breakout thing. It only happens on stage one and four, if I recall correctly. Um, you need to kill every single enemy, and then you will unveil an extra scene that's required for the 100% kill ratio. But what Abitaku is doing is also destroying multiple parts of the enemies to get more medals. And when you do it, you get that medal. That's 10k. And then you can kill these snakes, which are part of the breakout section. So yeah, good shit, man. Oh my god, these medals. It's just yeah, taunting I think it, you. Uh, the medals you just have different expectations. So if you're having the raising medal expectations and you want to pick everything up and keep a max medal chain, then you're going to hate those definitely. Yes. Um, it's just, I mean, the system behind it works the same, but you just cannot pick them all up, and um, you you don't have to. You build up a medal chain quickly again once you break it. So it works a little bit different. You're still spawning. Yeah, yeah. yeah, quietly different. And here's the part where he actually tries to make as many medals as he can. Wow. And fails it. Also, I forgot to mention the power system. Those power of things work. Uh, as you can see here, you have three different power systems. The white shot, the laser, and missiles. You really don't want to get missiles in scoring. Uh, mostly because they will invade there as they are homing. They are good for survival, but they are fucking horrible for scoring. So, he wants to get red first, which is white, and then blue, which is laser. So when you have four of an item, he will actually start getting into the other items. So for example, you can see here it's a combination of both laser and wave. It's because he already has four laser and five waves. So it's going to be a combination of all, every single weapon. A little bit weaker, but it's going to be there. And yes, every single boss drops a metal, by the way. Oh, how, you, how nice of him. Yeah. Oh, so you got the 100% kill rate. How important is yeah. that for score? How, how much do you get from those 100%? Oh, it's gonna be actually here. Uh, as you can see here, you get points for... Mm. Yeah, extra that's 50K. hefty. Yummy. Yeah. And you get points for extra bombs also. So, in the oh, meantime, he's pressing nice the bottom. Uh, there's another uh, little secret that... I don't know if you guys can see it. You need to do something very weird, which I haven't really seen how to do it. You need to bomb between those towers and kill the tanks that are not moving. Uh, you need to stay there as much as possible. And a red car on that roadway on the background, it's gonna appear. 10k. Yeah, I don't think this really... Oh! There it is. There it is. Yeah, I saw it. Very briefly. Yeah, very briefly. It's a reference to all those classic um, Twaplan riding games where the red car appears. Yeah. That's a little easter egg. So, yeah, Tricyl is full of different types of milks. The first stages look just like little reference of secrets and everything. But ever since here, very weird milkings are gonna appear. Allow me to say this. You guys are into something very special. Oh boy. I'm okay, ready. So he's just killing enemies, speed killing everything, getting medals. Uh, nothing particularly interesting here. Uh, if I recall correctly, this is a part where a single... No, this is the next one. Because there's a tower that's kind of pointy, there's a little, little white dot on it. When you hold over it, like you do it, for example, in Radiant Fighters, there's a little pigeon that's gonna start flying. When he leaves the screen, you get an extra pop. The fuck? Yes. Oh, here it is. That little pointy has a little, little dot that's white. Oh, there it is. That's the pigeon. What the hell is then, this game? Then you, you do that, like Raiden, and there you go. Oh, there the he pigeon is. starts flying. And then there That's goes amazing. <laughs> wow, okay. 
No, it's it's gonna get better. So <laughs> you're telling me this, this isn't is... the fucking peak of it. No, this is not a peak. Okay, this is going to be peak. Allow me to say this. So there's a little robot on the middle, right? Yep. Um, there's two turrets. He's gonna start first milking as much as possible because the lizard is gonna eventually kill them because he it's literally away from Darius. It trespasses everything. So right. he milks as much as possible to get medals. When a turret is destroyed, the robot is going to throw a little brick. Oh, you are supposed, sake. you are supposed to bounce the brick when you shift, and each thing is going to start on ten, a hundred, thousand, and then every single one afterwards is ten k. Oh come on! <laughs> <laughs> yes. For fuck's uh, sake! Again, this is not interesting. He's used like milking torrents and everything. And I'll to say this, this part is actually pretty difficult. This is where I mostly struggle with. Okay, as you can see, he's gonna stop a little bit as much as possible. The robot stands up and throws a little brown brick. Oh, here we go. Oh, there it is. You can barely fucking see it. Oh my god. Yeah. And then you start like bouncing. There it goes. No and fucking way. Let's go. A hundred? <laughs> Dude, it's oh like twin eagle god. two. Let's go. And here comes the even funnier part. It's also going to be on part of the boss. Oh so my he's God, going to I milk the boss and milk the brick. Dude. Also, this those little Amazing. This those little things are. So he's going to milk both the missiles that drop uh, metals, as you can see here. And he's also still trying to bounce the brick as the main priority of the game right now. Can so the rock can go off screen as yeah, well. Yeah, I was about right? to ask. Yeah. It goes off screen, so you really need to get oh, the sides very too? precise moment. Yeah, the sides too. Uh, the hitbox of the actual ship is not that large, it's like very center as you can imagine. But the hitbox Ooh. for this part is the entire ship. Oh. And there it goes off screen. Oh. So yeah. Bye bye. It's gone, like... right? Huh? It's gone. It's gone. Like it's completely oh, gone. This is actually not the best milking of that rig. Uh, the super player are Dot, which you probably guys know a little bit. Uh, he played on the 12 stack ship because, yes, the 12 stack ship can be played on this game as a secret ship. Uh, on the Super Play DVD, he does 43 brick bounces. Oh, yeah. So imagine the amount of points he got just for doing that. So, yeah, uh, Durgos is milking now the turrets a little bit with the missiles. Uh, not particularly anything. Remarkable here, that's it from the break. Oh, I like also forgot to say. 3D graphics of this one? Yeah, it was made by like three people one programmer, one music person, which the music, by the way, I love the music of this game. Uh, the graphics by a single person, so it's a teamwork of three people, basically. So, yeah, very low budget. Very good game, actually. I, it's probably the big triangle service game, in my opinion. Are they still around, by the way? The company? They are, they are still around, but I haven't seen them making shooting up games. They are mostly making the shit boss kind of games like um, skills test or tapping oh, the skills ones. test. Right, or, the, right, right, yeah. or the eight player Pango. Mm. Uh, I yes, hate Pango. So now imagine eight player Battle Royale Pango. Oh, and the 100% as well, okay. Yeah, 100 I think every single stage gets 100%. Good shit. If I remember really. So yeah, there goes Six Foot, as the boss is called. Every boss has a name, actually. And the fourth one is going to give you a choke. Can't wait. <laughs> yeah, pretty amazing experience right now, am I right, guys? <laughs> the brick has been the highlight of my night so far. Yeah, I still can't get it out of my head, this one. Wasn't it like in sk Schmap Skill Test or whatever it's called? Is there like a whole stage that's basically built around the brick uh, bounce back mechanic or some shit like that? I think so. I don't think so. They made for other kind of stuff like uh, the. There's a game ah, called. Oh no, the I was speaking about yeah, the trash can. Like you oh, have to yeah, yeah, the trash can. You have to shoot stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Trash cans like that. Yeah, yeah it's kind of similar to that. Fun. Yeah, it's a little bit similar, but not really, right? It's, it's something else. Yeah, it's pretty similar. So here goes to stage three, Dark Shadow, which is my favorite style of levels. Actually, I really love when you need to yeah, get into the big, big battleships, big battleship. It's always so satisfying. Yeah, I, I love this one. And it's always stage three. It's always stage. It's three. like that in Hellsinger as well. 
<laughs> it's always a coincidence. So yeah, for the hundred percent of this stage, actually, you see that those little things flap when they show cannons. They need to be destroyed also, but you can destroy them when the boss face quote unquote appears. So it doesn't really need to destroy them. He just needs to survive as much oh, as possible and kill. Yeah, this is probably the fanciest part of the game to do. Oh, like cool safe spots like that. That just abuse aiming mechanics. Yeah, this game is mostly been a little bit more focused on where the dangerous part is and just stay there as much as possible. You don't need really need to move a lot. You only move when you see medals and it's like Jumpy medals! Medals okay, so 40 points. 40 points. I want to explain the secret right now. Um, do you guys remember the Archive Final Bullets, the ones that you cannot destroy and look like chainsaws and things like that? Oh, I've sure. never even played Archive uh, the, Final. The, the, the la no, the last stage of the first Archive, sorry. Oh! Oh yeah, this one of yeah, course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, for the secret of this stage, uh, you need to have five bombs and not miss. And it's gonna appear briefly, 10k. It's gonna be appear here very fucking briefly. Watch like, it. it's barely going to be. Oh, there you it is. Tell us. Oh, there, there it was, yeah. 10 Got it. Yeah, you miss, no, Can it hit no you? miss no bomb that. No, it doesn't hit you. It's okay. just like a Easter It's mostly Easter eggs. They don't really. And you do don't it. have to shoot it or anything, it just has to appear and you get the points. No, you, you just get the points by no miss, no bomb up to that part, and then you can die or do stuff. All right, basically. I see. Good stuff. Yeah, it's the only secret they get that's not cancer, basically. It just appears. <laughs> yeah, it just appears and you do nothing. So there goes the boss, basically. Uh, you flap and destroy everything, basically. This looks like a milking section again, but maybe not, not as much. Not as much. Uh, he's just trying to destroy as much the cannons. The milking is gonna appear a little bit afterwards after this. Oh, thank God! I almost Need missed it. Yeah, he's just destroying. You mostly try to destroy a single part of the of the cannons, so you can start trying to get as many medals as you can from the other side. And as you can see here, he's destroying the other flaps that he was before on the stage at the start. So he's getting all the medals and everything. This is probably my favorite stage and boss in the game. It's probably the easiest. Uh, very fancy. The soundtrack gets very fitting here, actually, too. I oh, was talking about difficulty. How hard is this game anyway? Would you recommend this to beginners, or is it more like a advanced player's game? Uh, for scoring. It can be a little bit tricky. Well, just, for the, just for clear. If I want yeah, to yeah, yeah, but it's for scoring it can be a little tricky, but for clears it can be very easy because you can get five uh, oh. power-ups for each item, and you basically get invincible because you have homing missiles, a laser, and a white shot. So, yeah, you can clear this game pretty easily. If you know the secrets, yeah. it can be a little bit more because, for example, you can get a pigeon secret for an extra bomb or other kind of things. If you, don't, if you want to skip the score once, you can completely do that, and you can get still a pretty nice clear. Also, that safe spot is quite... I mean, nothing happens. <laughs> yeah, no, nothing is happening. It's because there's one flap left. He needs to destroy it. Oh, I see. Oh, I think I destroyed it. He's just trying to be fancy and get a harder pattern, which happens when you, when the boss is about to time out, basically. Mm. Yeah, he was just trying to... Very yeah, good. he was just trying to be fancy. And that's another 100%. Yeah, nice. that's a 100%. This is probably the easiest 100% in the game. The hardest ones that come from stage 2 and stage 4, which we're about to see. Yeah, probably the more flying enemies you have, the harder it gets to get the 100%, I'm guessing. Yeah, yeah, basically, yeah. because according to the position you have the ship right now, it's going to appear on the other side most of the time. So if you are on the left, the enemy that's going to spawn is going to spawn on the right side. Mm -hmm. Classic. And another space-themed level. I like those. Yeah, it's also going to have this fancy sheep flying around kind of things. 
Ooh, the sounds they make are not nice. I hate that sound. Yeah, they... <laughs> click, 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 click. <laughs> yeah, very thick, very strong sound. I don't like that either. So what's the secret here? Uh, just destroy all the ships. Either it's already gone. Oh, it's should be bombed. Bomb. Yeah, oh. you just bomb. Oh, I see. Today I'm gonna bomb these clueless fellas. Yes. Oh, <laughs> there it goes. Good. Good. <laughs> now, trap. The ultimate song is from the stage five. Fight me. Yeah. So this is the breakout. Uh, just like the other part of the stage, the snakes. This is the equivalent to that. So breakout means part. destroy everything, or, or what? yeah, there's. Yeah, destroy everything, like the extra song from destroying certain parts of the enemies, just like the other battleships. If one skips, you don't get this part in particular. You skip directly to the next one, which is a meteor um, rain, basically. So there's another secret, which uh, again, I really don't have the complete information, but it's 90% sure that you need to destroy a certain amount of meteors or asteroids, I don't know if I want to call it. Um, there's going to appear a missile on the right, which is called Hope. That missile is gonna throw something, you get 10k. Basically, just keep holding your 30 hertz auto fire and destroy everything you see. Oh, he didn't get 100%, did he? Yeah, he's going to be because every single time those enemies that appear on the back and then appear on the back side of the stage, they remove a kind of a part of the 100%. So they are pretty much the enemy you want to kill the most on this part oh, of the okay. stage. So I saw a oh, few. There, 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 there is. Oh, is that's a lot of. <laughs> 10k. Oh yeah, I like those secrets. They're cute in a way. Cute little rocket. Yeah, cute little missile rocket. So it can't gets, forget the brick. It gets even better. There's one that I'm already expecting either both of you to be like, are you serious what are you saying? Yes, I'm serious. I'm ready. The brick was, brick was amazing, but the next one is going to be... I'm sorry, but the next one is dumb. All right, so it's yeah, a very meteor. satisfying section. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah, it's very, very satisfying to play. Honestly, this game is very satisfying to play. Just a single stage you want to just score it because every single stage it's its own war. You need to do different things and everything. And there goes the four boss, which is called tattoo. I think it's just the medals that are the opposite of being satisfying. Yeah. But the rest. <laughs> yeah, use the medals. Let me guess. You milk this from. Fucking meteorites? Yes. Great. But the quick is that this oh. boss is going to throw... Yeah, that part is kind of difficult without a bomb. Yeah. It's going to throw those lasers. If you are on either left or side, it's going to kill you. 100%. Oh, fine. So you need to be on the center of the boss. Oh, I and see. And you cannot leave that part. And it's going to both build the meteors, and then let me start up here on the back. Ooh. Enemies on the back. Do they, like, immediately... I have a hitbox when they appear behind you? Yes, they do. Oh. Mm. Perfect. The only thing we needed, right? <laughs> yes. I mean, at least they are like inching closer, like very slowly, and you can see them in the background first, and then they appear, so you get a little yeah, bit they... of warning, but not too much. But maybe yeah, you enough. Get... You get enough warning, but I will not deny that it's already like. Mm. The game is already on the arcade cabinet saying, die already, get out of the cab, basically. Yeah, that's a that's a classic milk. Yeah, that's a very classic milk. Also, I forgot to say, uh, each surplus item, when you have, for example, five reds and you pick another one, you get another 1,000 points, basically. Mm. And there goes 100%. So yeah, the highest part of the score in this game is 100%. Now in the scoring secrets, which are the most important ones, as you can see, I mean, 10k for each single brick bounce. <laughs> the fucking brick. I'll never be able to live that thing down. How many stages is this game? Imagine? Five? Uh, I think there are six, but the sixth one is very, very short. It's basically just two bosses and that's it. Oh, okay. Yeah, Pearl, can you imagine Hellsinker with something like a brick mechanic? Probably has it in some way. So here goes Fortress Triseal. This is what Triseal is for. Is that satellite? 
And also, yeah, uh, as Strat mentioned before, on the PS2 version of the game, there's a vocal sound version of the four stage song, which is the favorite of fans. So yeah, he's built killing enemies as much as he can to get the ball 100% and medals, as you can imagine. I love point blanking like this. Oh, that reminds me of Giga Wing. Oh yeah. Yeah. It's basically Giga Wheels point blanking. Oh yeah, Plasma. Now you brought back some fucking memories. Oh, that's true, Pearl. You play Giga Win at some point, is it right? Yeah, there's the stage 2 as stuck. There's a very technical bomb you can do for it, and you do the same type of point blanking at the top of the screen. Oh, really? Yep. I'm only playing as the blue ship. Uh, I don't remember the name. Uh, Isha. Isha. I play mostly as Isha and I could never get past the first boss because I always thought you need to kill it. So I was like, no, why is he escaping? No, get out of here. Get nice. Come back here. <laughs> and then someone told me, no, you can't kill the bosses on Gigaway. What do you mean with that? I was so angry. <laughs> oh, you got the oh, little those... things in the background giving me 10k. Yeah. yeah, the little things in the background, I don't know how to summon them. Again, I think it's just a matter of killing everything. But this part is the fun one. The one oh, that no. we call the boss. Those always can kill you. Those traits, every single one of them, if you kill one, oh. you get a extra bomb. Oh my god, they can kill you? No, they cannot kill you. The roadways oh. can, the trends cannot. You can smash to the roadway that's coming to your camera. I see. You can kill those trains? Yeah, and each train that you kill gives you an extra bomb. How the hell do you even do that? Uh, with a laser. When a train is closed, it's completely RNG. This part, oh, we're getting extra bombs. It's completely oh, RNG. You don't know how many. Once I got 11, and then it's time I got zero. Oh. No. Can you get this one? Oh. Nope. Nope. Oh. Also, I think he's mostly, mostly focusing on the enemies itself because the trains do not give you 100%. So oh. they are basically just an extra. That's why it doesn't really matter. Oh, that makes per se. Uh, oh. Yeah. Oh. There we go. You want you guys want to see the kill be destroyed, right? Yeah, I so want to see one die. You didn't get a single bomb here. And there it goes. Oh. No train skill. Not today. Fuck. Nope. Train pacifist bonus. Train pacifist. <laughs> yeah, but the secret for that one, the little guys on the balloons. I don't really recall the secret. I think it's also like just get here without dying or something like that. They always appear. I haven't seen a wrong without them, so they don't really matter. Oh, and this is the most remembered part of the game for most people. Oh, this one. Yeah, oh, I haven't played the game nice. really myself, but I do remember this section. Yeah, the cannons count for the 100%. The squares at themselves not, but the cannons do. So there's this part is where most people start wasting all the bobs, but looks like Tabitaku is just doing itself like a pro, I guess. Oh yeah, now they're getting pretty pretty hectic. Yeah, this perp kind of reminds me of Karuga, per se. And there's a bomb. Yeah, yep. there, there's, there goes a bomb. So this is the part where you definitely want to have a good laser ready. Yeah, this oh, is the part where missile. you want laser. When you get, also, when you get a uh, laser at 5, as you can see here, there goes a little extra spears. They are fully uh, piercing. They completely destroy everything. Oh, but they the sound they make the is bosses. awful. Yes. Uh. Well, you <laughs> can destroy them. Hmm? So, w w wasn't one of the turrets just blowing up? Can you destroy them? The body? Yeah, you, you, you can totally destroy it, but it takes so many hits. Well, so many hits. Yeah, oh. that bomb we... only killed the left one there. Yeah. Interesting. Oh. Bomb plus shooting, so yeah. Do they okay. even count the towards the 100% kill ratio, right? Uh, no, the squares itself, no, the cannons do. So only the cannons matter. So as you can oh. see here, he, he can try to destroy. Wait, what? Oh, wait. Yeah. Here comes something fun. Uh, that suicide was actually planned. Yeah, it looked like it. You're, you're, you are going to see why. You need the laser as low as possible, or at least get a laser only. If you want to score at least this part. I don't like it's this going already. To... Is there a remaining life bonus or something like that? Uh, no. 
so it doesn't okay, really so matter. Okay, so you're free to throw away your lives. Uh, what the hell? That's like why. big medals. Nice. I see. Yeah, you, you get the big medals because if you have wave, you can imagine everything getting destroyed. Oh, yeah. By accident. Yep, that makes sense. And let's go again. Let's look at the score. It's like 6k beyond 4 million. I like the song, it's pretty good. Oh, yeah, careful. this is. Don't get that power up, buddy. Talk on these guys. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Very good. Yeah, you can get powers for laser, but 65 not for anything else. So over 60k for one wave. Yeah, that's definitely worth it. Yeah. Yeah, this is a part where scoring starts to matter. You are into it. This, this is a part where most people actually reset if something goes wrong. Good stuff. I like this. Yeah, this looks really fun. Yeah, I so also when, like this one. When, when does this section proceed? What do you have to kill, or do you just have to oh, kill you, all? You just have to kill all the waves. I think this is the last one, or maybe just another one, and that could be oh, it. Oh, yeah. oh, so that's this is not really a meal. It's just yeah. how it is always. Okay. After yeah, getting those medals. Over 200k, yeah, get it. pretty good. This boss is also pretty fun, but also really scary. And I'm going to explain that a little bit in a while. There's also going to be a little another milk here. More milk. We kill those guys. They're gone. They what are, are those gone. anyway? Like flying cars or what? Yeah, future man. So he's gonna build those hexagons. Oh no. Future hexagons. A pretty high kill value too. Yeah, that's mm. why you really want to destroy as many as you can. So this is the first phase of the boss. Um, pretty scary, but you just kill kill it as you can see here. It doesn't really matter a lot. The second phase is where the scoring actually comes from. Oh, yeah, okay. Because as you can see here, yeah. So as you can see here, there's also going to be another plan uh, suicide. Because he will require the bombs, because he needs to get most hexagons as possible. So for each suicide, he gets another two bomb bonuses. Uh, I see. That little black dot that he shot, it might be like, well, what does does it do? Why is he avoiding like crazy? Every single bullet you throw to it, it's gonna be duplicated. And oh. It's gonna be thrown to you again. Okay, it's something oh. like this. Then. That's cool. There's something like this in uh, like Mystic it. Square as well. Yeah, so basically it's the single most dangerous thing to shoot in the entire game. Like a mirror. Yeah, it's a mirror. Oh, I hate those bullets. They look yeah, they awful. Are, they are cheetos. Little boomerang fellas. So yeah, to be particularly honest with all of you, not a particularly interesting boss fight, to be honest compared to the other ones, like the second boss with a brown brick milkin plus missile milkin. Yeah, oh. Oh, there it goes. Yeah. Oh, wow, okay, it does it like that, too. Yeah. Oh, that's not good. So, ca can you imagine throwing a full single whip shot to it? So, no, you don't want that. I thought it would okay, just, so like, reflect go. back at you immediately. No, but it, no, it, like, no, it stacks doesn't. it. Ugh. It stacks it until it blows away. Dude, I love the sounds. It's Wavy bullets make, they sound so funny. Boop, 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 boop. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, they're funny. The funny thing is. So, yeah, this game is fully made up with references to other RCG games, to other kind of things that you can see up to this point. So, yeah, just a little more at second milking. Oh, oh okay. okay. Yeah, as long as you don't shoot as much as you probably think, then it's alright. Yeah, it's not like a massive uh, issue if you only shoot like one or two shots into it. The BGM sounds like a cool 2000s ringtone. Just imagine playing this on your Nokia. Mom, I'm school. Stop calling to me. 
Did you stop playing Snake? Play Snake on your Nokia and Math. What are you doing, bro? Oh, I'm I am the calculator. How long is this boss? Oh, I think it's, it's I think it's just gonna be another two more waves of this, and that should be it. Alright, just take forever. Yeah, as I mentioned before, this is the only part of the game where the milk. The only look part of the game where it's like boring to look at. <laughs> yeah. You kind of speed kill this too, like, you would just get into the middle and just shoot at it. It's gonna be straight like, I don't know, 5 seconds probably? Holy shit. Oh. Oh, when yeah. you shoot yeah, it you more, can... its hitbox gets larger and larger? Yeah. Just another death, so why? Oh. Well, bombs again? Or... Yeah, another bombs for more than second milk. Hmm. It never ends. All we know is Hexagon. Oh I mean, I've seen worse, but still. Oh, I'm just gonna kill it. Yeah. Oh wow, that had a lot, a lot of kill value. 500k. Let's go. Final yeah. stage, or what is it? Yeah, fi final stage. Yeah, it was okay. also the kill because I, I, I forgot there was the timeout. I'm almost, almost happening, so yeah. Oh, and you got another 100%. Is it like all perfect? Yeah, this it's run. all perfect. All oh perfect, all clear, all, all milks. All fun. All, mi all, all, all milks. All milks. <laughs> all milks, all secrets. All, all. So yeah, the next stage is going to be incredibly short, so you don't have to worry. It's just like one or two enemy waves, one boss, and then the final thing, which is not really complicated or anything. Yeah, it's just like killing for the 100% doesn't really matter to battle as much here because it's pretty difficult. I'm not sure if I prefer games with short final stages or long final stages. It, it's a complicated question. Okay, so before proceeding to that, here comes the boss where the funny secret is. My favorite secret in the game in regards to how shitposting it is. You see the little robot? Yeah, what's when he doing? When he opens its arms, you press the start and you get an extra pop. Are you fucking no. kidding me? No. You're pressing start? You press start. You press start in a five time frame window, by the way. So when he, op he opens the arms, you press you start mashing start and you get an extra bump. Uh. So, better have 30 hertz start button. That's a new one. It's like right in DX where you put something on the start button. I think it was the guts meter. Yeah, the guts meter. Okay, so there goes the robot, and this yeah, is a... Yeah, I like the background. This looks really good. Yeah, this is a somewhat final boss of the game, could be said. He's gonna do a little strategy to get a couple more points, a couple more medals, but it's gonna be incredibly short. Unlike the previous boss, which took forever. But yeah, speaking of short or longer final stages, that's something that I always have interest in talking to. For example, Red and Silver Goon's final stage on console, it's actually better than the arcade in my opinion because you get to fight all these, as I like to call as a kid, uh, Guardians of the Heaven and things like that. Oh, there it goes. Uh, you need to also destroy those orange things to get 100% of this stage. Oh, they seem to have a lot of HP as well. Yeah, so he is going to do the classic, uh, I'm gonna damage you, then you kill, 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 that's it. Yeah, there's no particular milk in outside of pressing 30 hertz star on the robot to get your strap on. 30 hertz star. That really is a new one. Yeah, just like I mentioned before, I, I mean, I don't know if all of you guys know about this, but tool stack, uh, the previous game of, of this one, you need to press 30 hertz A even frame, 30 hertz C odd frame, and you get 60 hertz auto fire. So, triangle service right, gets that thing. No, for are known for funny auto fire warrants. <laughs> yeah, he's just waiting for the last panel. 60 hertz time. First pink sweets next, uh, what was it, 12 stag? 12 stag. Yeah, oh, I always, wait, I always oh, get their names mixed up. 
Oh, that's true. Uh, Pixis has also 60 hertz auto fire, right? Yeah, 30 hertz external is 60 hertz. Why do you even need 60 hertz on Pixis? It's like a marginal improvement in some specific areas. In like some the door on the final stage? Yeah, that one. But yeah, here goes the last yeah. boss of the game. There it goes. Try shield. Which by the guy, guys, yeah. this is this is the world record replay for the game. Or at least the higher score that I'm aware of. Because even this suppresses the super play DVDs, uh, Arcadia magazines that I know. Or at least for one piece side because all three ships have different scoring potentials. The tall stack has somewhat tall stack mechanics thrown in. Uh one piece side is has a little bit more space shots, but it's slower. Two piece side ship also has narrower a little bit more narrow shots, but it's faster. So you get like a couple stat differences according to what ship you use. I see. But yeah, uh, it's mostly used one piece side, two piece side. It doesn't really matter if you want to play this game. I really, really recommend it. You don't need to milk, as I need to recall. So just have fun. And yeah, this was actually the game that I wanted to play in Shiro's Lab, but because we're showcasing it here, I think it's better to just commentate it directly. Yeah. Pretty good game. Good replay as well, but are other other scores comparable? Like you said there are some differences between arcade and remix, so Yeah, for example, mm -hmm. it they are very slightly. Like there's a couple of changes in the sprites of the bullets, mostly because the game was remade on another engine from what I can tell. I don't know how true that is. Uh, also there's a couple of enemies only on stage one, because the other stages feel exactly the same in my opinion. Only on stage one a couple of enemies move just a slightly different. Like if they're moving down here, for example, they move a little bit faster down. For oh, I see. For example, it's very minimal differences. It doesn't really matter, to be honest. Seems kind of like the Mushi port thing. How in every port of Mushi, early HD, they made the bullets larger and uh, have a Wait, different color. Mushi? Yeah, every bullet in Mushi ports, they're larger than the PCB. Not oh. the hitbox, but visually. And they also have a lighter color, which I don't think looks very good. I think the original deep purple of PCB looks really pretty. Hmm. That's interesting. So, yeah, TriShield has this matter, specifically on the 360 ports and upper, which has a Steam and things like that. PS2, Dreamcast, and Naomi ports are exactly the same with some slowdown differences. Oh, also that. Uh, 360 port and Steam version do not have any slowdown at all, which you guys are going to be thankful. The Naomi <laughs> slowdown is painful. It's really painful. Okay, so before we start, uh, Cosmo, should I show the other thing first or should I unveil the game first? I think it makes more sense to unveil the second game before well, showing. What are you going to do? The sponsorship? Yeah, just show the clip before. Um saying the what clip? the next game is. Okay. Yeah, just show the clip first. Alright, so... I have a special clip courtesy of Plasmo that he wanted to show before explaining what game this is. So, while this clip rolls, Plasmo will go over some nice trivia about what will be happening. Alright? Ready? Let's go! Alright. So, Ready? let's Can take we? a walk. Take a walk to an arcade. This is Mikado Arcade in Takano Baba in Tokyo. And um, it's one of the Largest. most important arcades when it comes to retro arcade games and stuff like that. So um, they have a great selection of like all the PCBs you can imagine, all the shoot em ups, but also lots of dedicated caps, which are quite rare. And the game we are about to see now, um, they have a cabinet of it here. Sorry. And this cabinet in specific it's it's like half of the experience of this game because it's so damn special and we are about to approach it right here and oh. i was fortunate enough to sit in this very cabinet and this very arcade myself and it's pretty amazing as you can see it looks weird as fuck like what the hell is even going on there so the actual monitor of the game is actually um I mean, really? like above the player and you're sitting underneath and then um, you're watching, uh, like you're facing into the same direction as the monitor into a concave mirror. So oh, the um, okay. image of the monitor you can only like see through the concave mirror, which gives you a feeling of depth 
feeling of uh, immersion. And yeah, this is like really quite an experience. If you had the chance to sit down in one of those cabinets, I mean, look at this. It's it's so good. Curve monitors before curve monitors. <laughs> MK really was ahead of their time back then, huh? Yes, like this is yes. 1991. Like yeah. what the hell? This yeah. is incredibly impressive. Like I've been seeing like commentaries on the cabinet before and just like barely from videos, but I didn't know about that specification. And let me tell you this. Wow. Yes. Yeah, so when we are about to now check out the replay, uh -huh. uh, we will of course not um, see this like crazy concave mirror projects and stuff going on. But yep. That'll be in four by three. <laughs> yes. right. And I wonder how Name is doing it because the image needs to be mirrored. I think. Uh no, it actually displays perfectly fine. Yeah, oh. it just displays normally because the game has been ported multiple times also, so. Yeah. Oh, it has. I didn't even know that. Yeah. For example, a uh, little trivia for That's those that do not know: uh, when you put up Tekken Five on the PS2, there is <laughs> exactly. always a little now loading scene. For example, Tekken One was Galaga. Tekken Two has nothing, if I recall correctly. Tekken Five has this game as your loading screen while the game is loading, so you can play a little Star Blade while the game is loading. Ah, oh, cool. I think we're ready to go to the replay at hand. Yeah, let's check out the replay. All right, so uh, sure. played by Mog Zin in March of 2005, which is honestly pretty early for something like this to be emulated. I expected this to be a lot later, but I guess because the hardware is so early that it doesn't have too much issue with it. Kind of reminds me to iRobot kind of graphics. Yeah, that game. That game is bizarre. You can see on the uh, on Discord stream, and a bit on the main on the uh, Twitch stream as well. It's a little yeah. bit stretched because it's like such a massive resolution, but it will look fine once it starts. Oh, it's on the 3DO. Wow. Okay. Yeah, it's on the 3DO. It was even on the Sega CD. Okay. Uh, for those that are curious, the Sega CD port has mouse support. <laughs> for whatever oh, Sega reason. Sega CD supported the mouse. Yes. Wow. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna start. Yeah, just a little bit low volume down yep. before your ears. <laughs> yeah. Like minus yeah, this game, um, as as you have already seen, was the one of the like early three D um experimentation games. Um, and definitely the focus, of course, was on the on the visual side as well. Namco was also putting out um Soul Value. Um, oh, Soul like, pretty good. Oh, that year, game, I want to try. So that's basically Starblade, but with uh, Zevius um, Outlook and stuff like that. It looks really good as well. And um, yeah, it, I think it's um, safe to say that Starblade in particular was the major inspiration for games like Star Fox and all that. Yeah, it totally is. Totally. Yeah. I mean, most of the earliest Star Fox levels in the Super Nintendo look like Starblade that we're going to Yes. Okay. Oh, and he doesn't skip the cutscenes. What a man. Yeah, he wants the full experience, just like you were in 1991. Watching this, is like, oh man, what is this? It's 3D. It's so real. I imagine a cab of this is like ridiculously expensive and hard to come by. Yeah, they're very rare. Not as rare as the Earth 360, I imagine. But holy shit. Oh. Yeah, you gotta destroy that. It's a good thing he's watching the intro because the game itself is very short. I think we can expect it to be like 20 minutes or something. Yeah, around that. Yeah. And when it comes to scoring, people still love this game. Uh, you can um, see very regular updates for the world record on JHA. I think as late as, um, as recent as, I think it was this year, like February of this year. Um, they, they put out a new world record, so there is some kind of scoring scene going on um, here. Not sure like how exactly it works, besides obviously shooting down stuff. What I can see is also has thick points. For example, that enemy that cannot be destroyed, he wants yeah, to focus yeah. on that because it's getting 100 points for each tick. Right. So, there is yeah, also so slight graphic errors on this early version of MT. You can see the layering of the horizon with the lasers doesn't really work. Yeah. Well, this to be expected. This is MAME 79. 
Yeah, can you imagine putting this over your Windows XP machine? Holy shit. That really would be pretty amazing back then. Yeah. Yeah, for scoring, I think it's just simple, kill everything, but something... Yeah, I think so. Frame rate and main moves way better than PCB. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's interesting. It's probably running, like, unclocked. Oh, yeah, by the way, also a curiosity, because I was talking about the ports and everything. Uh, only the Sega CD port is actually made to work with the Sega CD because it uses, like, the wireframe graphics. Hmm. S1 and 3DO ports are FMBs. So, yeah, not good. The also, Sega CD port is good, the other ones don't. Also, it seems like he's playing with a mouse. Yeah, he might be using a mouse because the game really requires a lot of um, analog movement. The reason oh, why man. is because um, the way he snaps. Right. The way he moves yeah. feels very, like... Obviously, it doesn't look as fluid because of the limited uh, spaces your crosshair can be, but the way it moves feels fluid. Yeah, he might be using either a joystick from airplanes, something like that, you know, the, those little things, or yeah. a mouse. Could be either of those. PCB is probably 15 or 20. Holy fuck. Imagine. Can you make so as yeah, for early. ports, I think there are quite quite a few of newer ports as well. Um, it was ported on Wii and PS3, I think, but then not for the next generation, so maybe That's sad. we can expect something there. Mm -hmm. I imagine That's this would play sad. so cool on the Wii, though. Yeah. So I'm not yeah, sure it... if there's music in this game, because kind of hard. it was hard to tell in the video. Uh, allow me to hear more properly, because I was getting... There's no music on the... Uh... On Mame right now, probably not emulated. Yeah, there's there's no music. I think it just oh. sound yeah, effect, yeah. Oh, okay. like an announcer the whole time. Um, I can't listen to it myself at the moment. I have it muted, but um, there shouldn't be music going on. Yeah, there isn't. I was just wondering if there was supposed to be. Yeah, it's just like, very realistic space break. fight game. Also, so no I, music. I can see there's models that's that are supposed to be loading, but they're not loading. Yeah, it looks a little bit different. So, uh, that's true. yeah. I imagine there's like big battle ships that are just, yeah, just not imagine. spawning. Yeah. Yeah, they're phantom ships, that's why. Yeah. It's probably only loading the actual attackable targets instead of right. background elements. Makes sense. Yeah. But it does look very funny. Yeah, they look somewhat like they are supposed to be there, but. <laughs> It's pretty funny, actually. The experience here is quite quite obscure. I mean, we are watching like an early 3D game from 1991 in a replay emulated in 2005, so everything is just ancient and obscure and weird and not really working. Yeah. That's, that's the experience. It's a, it's a miracle that it's even booting. There was a higher scoring replay than the one I'm showing now, but I couldn't get it to fully sync. It, ha it desyncs near the very end, and I'm pretty sad about that. We actually have a similar experience, Pearl, because uh, when I need to record replays from Triseal at that point in particular, uh, there's more games, as I mentioned before, Exeal, for example, mm -hmm. but I only can watch one single replay, and then I need to restart the game, or they all start to desync. Oh, what the fuck? That's weird. I, I don't know, it's probably because my 360 is probably modded or something? That could be possible. There's a lot of factors I say, huh, could be a factor, but yeah, it's like kind of stressful, so I get you now. <laughs> In terms of highest scoring replays for this game, there's like an almost world record replay on YouTube, and it has like 20 views. 20. It's completely underground, like no one cares, but one or two people are probably going really hard at this game in Japan. That always happens, so most of the time, uh... It's kind of sad when you think about it, but at the same time, it's kind of cool that there's just two people like cheering you when you do something like this. Yeah. You gotta so hook it me was really that video cool tonight. To find on YouTube even, but it exists. 2.3 million or something like that. I can put oh, it shit, in yeah. chat. Yeah, can you? Because I'm gonna fucking spam I wanna see, it. I want to see that after. Yeah. I imagine playing this on cab would feel really... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Really intuitive.
So it, it is a bit weird not seeing any any, any background any elements. Enemy. Yeah, it's just space. It's just a space background with enemies. It looks really funny this way. There's more coming up. Um, he will leave space and land on some planets, and we are going to approach a base as well. So um, let's see how this see one it. will look like. Yeah, I don't know what, what is loading and what is not. Um, that's more Whoa. space. Whoa, whoa. Okay, lots of spinning and turning. Yeah, gotta, gotta showcase your 3D 1991 for that. And for 91, this looks amazing, honestly. Yeah, this yeah. is incredibly impressive. Probably something that I can say right away, because I tried to play this multiple times. This game's hard. <laughs> like, really, really hard. Yeah, you don't. Can, do you even ever regenerate your shield at all? No. Oh shit. Yeah, the full arcade experience. You get there five minutes, then you get blown away, and it's like, yeah, get out of the cab already. Okay. Someone wants to play also. <laughs> no one else wants to try. Oh, uh, so yeah, this is like looking. I, I now know where we are. This looks completely different. So we're supposed to be on a planet right now. Ah. And oh. not in space. So I had trouble figuring out where we are. So this <laughs> are looks these, like, towers? completely different in the actual game. Oh, that's unfortunate. Are those like uh, things that have the things jutting out of it? Are those like towers that are on the ground? Yeah, stuff like that. It's, it's on a wall. Like we're going through a trench at the moment. Oh. <laughs> what are those mice? Man, if only we could see it. <laughs> <laughs> can we just, just get another? Can we just imagine. get another run to like overlay and put opacity on it? Just use your imagination. Yeah, use it now. <laughs> yeah, it can be bikini bottom or something. I don't know. You guys use use imagination. This is definitely a game I'd like to try. This and Sovolo, both of those look really goddamn cool. Yeah. These are the kinds of things that you play and it's like, man, if only I got to use the cab. Yeah. Oh, those things are worth a lot when you kill them. 5,000 each. Yeah. So, do you press a start to regenerate shields here too? <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, we got a lot of secrets for, for today's standards. <laughs> We got a lot of weird secrets in uh, Trizio, and we what? have no background in Starblade. Like, this is a weird episode. Yeah. Finally. I mean, I mean Plasmo, ever since you made the name, that's when you know oh. something is going very special. The name, yeah. I mean, the episode title, most of you have like immediately figured out what the one game is because of the zeal of course it's tri zeal i mean what else that was easy that was the that was a giveaway um <laughs> the other part of the title if someone would have googled it um you would have instantly um been sent to starblake like uh, immediately because the unknown intelligent mechanized species is actually the name of the um enemy force in this game. i actually did but i think wanted to be like oh yeah and pretty rude of this game to call their enemies non-intelligent. Yep, but also mechanized. True. Yeah, they are non-intelligent and mechanized. Yeah, hey, imagine me. both at the same time. Hey, they are my brothers then. I'm a robot and I'm not intelligent. That's why you play dual stack without auto roll. Still have to think about the brick. <laughs> we still have time to parse the brick. <laughs> Plus, well, ju just, just imagine playing with Pink Six, and then you hear Doshta, Doshta, and then you see a break on the screen up here. What you do? Warning. A bounce it back. Yeah, now he knows. <laughs> oh, that's some kind of base. Yeah, that is something that loaded in. Yeah, that's And it has Geek. layering problems, of course. Everything has problems. Everything's a problem. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Going in it. 
I mean, you can, by the you can guess just how cool this game oh. looks. Like, this gives you a good impression, maybe. It's so good. Kinda... Also... Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh. Here we are. Oh. 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 It's somewhat loading? Okay, this... Hmm. Yeah, this part oh, is really okay. Star Fox looking. I can see why you say that. Um, so what is going on here? Wait, is it? I think he's just really like cannons, probably. Oh, so I he... think what's supposed to be here is so there are crystals flying uh, in a circle, and that's the famous octopus, uh, the octopus base, and you have to blow up all those um, like crystals flying around the core. You you couldn't really tell because. <laughs> Uh, it's not loading at all, and um, you, you can get like 400k from that section alone, so it's crucial for scoring. Yeah, he only got like 150k there, because I think just focused on the kill. Yeah, I mean, if you can't see shit, you oh, will not be able to That's a lot of score there. But yeah, that, that was a major scoring section. Oh yeah, a screen like this oh, real really kill. also shows like the resolution of this game, too. The text. Yeah, that's very high for 1991. Like, what resolution is this? We could check after. Oh, some whatever that thing is over there. More space. Yeah. Should be a space or no plasma? Oh, there's a thing at the top. Oh my God. There's uh, something. Finally, I can see. Mm, back to space. Mm, space. Yeah. So today was a space. A lot of space. Yeah. I like the design yeah, yeah, of the cool. red ships. They look cool. Yeah. How they stop and how then flip their wings. Yeah, they're like, you're gonna die. I really like also the enemy that doesn't get destroyed. I don't know why I really oh, like it. Oh, what is this? Oh. Oh, we're going into something. I, I think it should be a base, considering that was like a door or something. Yeah, we're supposed to be in something now. Mm. Yeah, this looks and very good for the Yeah, it's like a tunnel or something, considering the door situation and how the thing looks. It's weird how the how that effect is actually loaded. Probably because it's just up to this right? Maybe, yeah. Okay, that looks cool. Even if we have just black background. We're definitely inside something because there's no space anymore. Yeah, there is just like. How nice of the game to let us know. <laughs> we're allowed to know now. Yeah, we're allowed to know when we're inside or outside. <laughs> Oh, there goes a core. Yeah, it should be like a ship, I think. The weak points appear to be in the projection. Stick out to the center. Located enemy flagship commander. Geosaur, come in, Geosaur. This is Team Leader. This is Team Leader. Destroy the control sound, Geosaur. We'll cover you. Over. Destroy all the, all the projections. Hmm. All the projections. Okay, I like this part. Kinda seems like a Star Fox enemy, the Star Fox boss from the Super Nintendo, for yeah, some reason. Funny. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Status no, it's an it's an emulation error. A lot yeah. of uh, models aren't loading. Or they might not they even be models. It might actually be background footage of sorts. I think yeah. that's that might be what it is. Yeah, I think I've seen this part before on a YouTube video, and there should be like something in the background. Yeah. Oh, we can blew, we blew just... up the big thing. Yeah, we blew up Starlight or the intelli the non-intelligent space things. Yeah, and I think that should be the last 
boss of some sort? Yeah. It's approaching the end, it's hard to tell, but... We're escaping we're something, and then this is the last boss, I believe, or the last section. Yeah, it should be... Oh, we have music! Yeah, you... yeah because it's the final battle. This is the thing that has been bullying you ever since you started the game, so... There's actually music. Oh, he's about to... You cannot avoid damage? What? Oh, there's the thing. The big core. Destroy the core. I could not resist. I'm very sorry. <laughs> <laughs> That's quite a nice model. I like yeah. it. It just falls apart. How, how it shatters and everything. Yeah, this seems to be quite a experience you play on a calf. Oh, there he goes. Oh, there he goes. He's gone. Bye, monkey. There he goes. Yup, GG. Good job, Mr. 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 Mogzin. Okay. Maybe defeated space. Yeah, Mog Jin maybe was one of the figures behind the ancient crypt of replays we have found. Oh, very cool. Cinematic. Mm. I love it. Yeah, at least yeah. this one's fully loading. Mostly. Also, I love how in the 90s they needed to do these flashing things to simulate lightings. I mean, it works. Yeah, it works, but it's and probably it looks even better on a cabinet too. Yeah, stuff that flashes that... on cat on like CRTs looks so pretty. Yeah, the like the experience you cannot compare playing this at home or playing this in the actual dedicated cabinet is a completely different game almost. Yeah. Yeah, it's actually funny not that you mentioned that. Why three D models like older ones look so much better on CRTs? Probably because. We, they were intended to be there. <laughs> that, and I think on a CRT, you wouldn't be able to see all the jagged edges. It would just look kind of smoothed. Mm. It would look better on a CRT because you don't get to see that, like the sharpness that we see where, I don't know the term for it, but I think it's like the yeah, anti-aliasing. Like where you see the jaggedness right. from a distance. I don't think you'd see that as much on a CRT. That's yeah, why it looks be better. Because mm. I never had that problem. When I was playing on CRTs, uh, but then when I moved to the new panels, because well, they're easier to get, uh, that started to be a problem. And I was like, why? Why? I, I don't remember this to be a thing. By the way, this game back in the day um, didn't have a Super Play DVD. Well, because they didn't have DVDs there, didn't have, didn't have a Super Play VHS. There was a Super Play laser disc of. Oh, oh it's one of the few, eh? Yeah, hey, it's they're, they're like two ones. Three. I think it's uh, there's like Darby this Caden, Darius a twin. Laser there's Dar it's super Darius, one of the console ones. Yeah, oh, this is cool. One. I love the I love the cube. I love 3D name entries. Yeah, I, I love it. I love it. Then, yeah, it was super Darius if I recall correctly, oh. and it was also a lot of Konami and stuff. Okay, so since uh, you, you guys couldn't really see <laughs> most of the things, um, I'll, I'll show Space. a nice little tidbit of the highest replay. Uh, Plasma, how long do you think I should show of it, would you say? I don't know, maybe just two, three minutes or so? Or just as long as we we like watching the game? It's, it's a very pretty game. Right. It's kind of unfortunate okay. this really um, was more space than anything else. Yeah. Um, because yeah, this this oh. game is all about the visuals. Even the name and the high score screen is pretty cinematic too. I like it. Yeah, I I, I love when companies do that kind of stuff, like making everything so cinematic as possible. All right, so that was uh, Starblade, mostly space. Mostly but... Starblade Space <laughs> Edition. Oh, I forgot to check the resolution. I'm gonna quickly check it. No, it's all it's all good. But... Oh, I'm curious. Was... That's why. <laughs> Uh, game oh. info. 496 by 480. Okay. That's weird. Okay, that's... 
Okay. So the run we're about to see, it is from April of this year. So um, an active player of Starblade still kicking in hard, maybe going for the record. In 480p, oh. as you'd imagine. In 480p? Well, of course. <laughs> With the actual models loading? Yeah, let me just uh, do a quick crop so you can actually see the side. By That's the way, good. as Trap said, uh, there seems to be also an Afterburner too, Super Play Laser Disc. That's pretty cool. Oh, I almost forgot. I almost forgot to oh. share the thing. Silly me. There we go. Alright. Yeah, cool. So this is the, uh, the trench section. Yeah, there. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> there we go. Now we see what's happening. Look at him this just is wiggling back and forth too. To yeah, maximize those hits. Bro. Whoa, it's it, the movement is so much smoother too. Yeah, so I think one of the scoring strikes is going to wiggle. Oh, so we wiggled now. Yes. Oh yeah, this section. This section again. Oh, now now it makes sense where we are. Oh. Yeah, so this is I think was the last stage. Yeah. So I guess we can yeah, we just the we can maybe just watch like a bit, a bit of this. How, how it look? How it was supposed to look? Yeah. Oh, okay. So it's not all space. Like lots of mechanical bases and stuff like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Really good. Space stations or whatever that is. And of course it's like very reminiscent of what we can then see in later rail shooter space games, Star Fox and stuff like that. Well, this mm -hmm. looks really trippy. Imagine being on drunk state, playing oh. this on the action cabinet. You imagine. Oh, I love those thoughts. Bro, I found my game. And look at this, man. Some kind of core. Yeah, he's the main core of the main ship. We destroyed two cores today, now that I think about it. Of two big ships, because Tri Seal Final Boss is actually the core of the Fortress Tri Seal. Can I say XD already? <laughs> yes. Yeah, XD. We can, we can see the background. I'm I'm not sure why only the interactable elements were spawning instead of the background elements. It doesn't make much Maybe. sense to me because these don't look pre-rendered. I actually have the idea of the game using a kind of weird. Uh, PCB where you use like two CPUs probably uh, maybe. because this seems like cool. This is really extreme for 1991 hardware. Like I cannot think about a single configuration that could manage this so easily. So there is a, probably idea that one of the chipsets was not working properly. Oh, here we go. Here's the escape. Yep, that's hey, the come, final. Hey, come here. The glorious 480p. No, the space fight's more or less the same. Yeah, but he's super playing it. He is. Yes, you cannot avoid damage in that part. Lamau. Oh my god, imagine you get there with like one hit left. Can you imagine? Really maximizing nope. the tick points too. <laughs> that last boss be like, Look how my I'm gonna shoot at these bullets. Look how my nudist <laughs> movements are too. Yeah. I wonder if Autofire is a thing here as well to get better tick points or something like that. I have no idea. I'm not sure. Yeah, because Cause it seems to be full auto. Little... But it looks different when it's uh, moving. Oh, yeah. I'm not I'm not alone in seeing that, right? No, I like you're not. I played this game before, as I stayed before. But it, this shit looks different. Oh, and he's milking as all the enemies, the missiles. Maybe it's just like a little bit higher hertz because, for example, uh, Ray Force also has that where you can get a faster frame rate. It has seven CPUs, oh my god. Oh, yeah, that could explain a lot of things. Main program, sound program, four, three rendering work CPUs and one work CPU that arbitrates tasks. Okay. Look yeah, at that. That was how it's supposed to look. Yeah. I think that is good for today. Yep. Yep. Hope you enjoyed all the good games today. 
play Tracy or wait away. I'll teach yeah, you. Play, play more space games, whatever it is. Shoot them up or rail shooter. Both are pretty good, pretty solid genres. Play for score, obviously. Mm-hmm. And see you maybe next episode I have no idea what's what's going to happen then yeah maybe there'll be something funny that time yeah oh fun yeah all right take care everyone all right it was a little pleasure greetings from Tacoland. you're gonna say bye plasma um uh, goodbye thank you plasma <laughs> no thank you for stopping by helping us out with the commentary and, oh, yeah. thank you very much. I appreciate it. It was a lot of pleasure, actually. <laughs>